Hello, Cellar people, and welcome to the Postmortem for Artist Boot Camp for Beginners. Yes, this is a postmortem day where I first want to say congratulations if you did all this, because, man. <laughs> but we're going to break it down. We're going to break it down, right? So we started at the beginning of February. We went through Shapes 3D, and then we the next week we did Shapes Heads and hands, mannequin anatomy. We did some perspective. We just started layering on top with adding the sculpture, adding gesture, accurate, adding figure drawing in that third week. And then we ended out with drawing what we like. And overall, I'd say this was a success. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was something that I didn't want to do exactly, but I knew I had to do. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing. So first, let's talk about the good and bad. The good and bad. Let's break it down by what we went through. Shapes, that's a good idea, right? Doing 2D and 3D shapes is, yeah, I'd keep this. I, if you, going forward, I will continue to do this. And for your training, if you want to modify any of this, feel free. But yeah, doing this as a warm up is a great idea, I thought. And I will continue doing this. Heads and hands, doing the skull. Yes, I keep this because it's a good frame of reference for every head. Right? We all have the same features arranged in a, a set pattern. So yes, I keep. I'm going to keep drawing skulls, heads and hands, same with heads, yes. If you can take a picture of your head, I thoroughly say yes, do that. Because it's a, it's a great thing to, to train from. So yes, I keep the skull and the head. And the hands, I think I need more hands in more positions. Like I'm just going to spend five, ten minutes just moving my hand in different positions in front of a camera and just snap the heck out of it and then upload that and then take screenshots. Yes, hands is a good idea. I will keep this, keep that going. For the anatomy, this was the big part. This was one of the most enjoyable parts. But I think more, well, this is a great starter set. Right, a great start set, I think. Something to get started and then to move off of because there are so many muscles. Why I didn't do the bones is because we can't really see them. We see indications of some, but we can't quite, you know, if you want to draw a person, you're not going to draw a person's bones. You're going to draw the person. So I thought that would, you know, just focusing on the muscles that we can see more or less and doing, using that as a jump off, as a starter set. But I think maybe at the intermediate level, I go through the skeleton. This is as a starting set of muscles. And I also like the cut, color coding. I think I'll do more of that in the future. Uh, using the mannequin, because I think in uh, one of my college classes, they made us buy a, a head like from a beauty store that you put wigs on and we had to draw on it and we had to, you know, make up uh, side planes and all that. And I always thought that was interesting. So I thought drawing on a mannequin and I, I like that. I, I'll continue this. And then drawing on statuary, that was also, I thought, a good thing. Because these are idealized people, right? A mannequin is like the base, most basic protoform human being used to, you know, model clothing. But a statue is an idealized human. I thought, okay, yeah, learning from that. Because usually what we're going to draw is more a statuesque, idealized person. So yeah, I, I'll continue this. And of course, the internet is a great, great way to learn. What else? Okay, freestyle. Freestyle was an interesting thing. Freestyle, I'm glad I did it 
because it broke up, you know, doing muscles and bones and trying to learn stuff all the time. I'm glad this broke it up. I would probably amend it. I'm not exactly sure how, but I guess just, you know, off screen, just drawing what you like is always, always important. It's good to know what you're, you're going towards, what you want to move towards. Because learning is learning, but this is like, you want to do the fun stuff. You want to draw your own characters, uh, which I highly encourage, you know, make your own, your OCs, original characters, and put them in situations, and write for them, and, you know, design outfits for them and all, uh, no matter what it is, right? Don't let anybody tell you not to draw what you like to draw, draw whatever you like. I always say, you know, just keep drawing. So I like this, but I, I don't know. I'd probably do maybe a little bit every day. So after doing, you know, your workout plan, then do maybe a half an hour cool down of freestyle, right? And then maybe the weekend, maybe you color it. I don't know. I still have thoughts I need to formulate on, on freestyle. So that's more or less the, well, okay. So the positives, I think I mostly went over. It's mostly good. As the basics, this is, I'll continue doing this. Negative, okay, so the negatives are making a daily video. Whew, man, man, oh man, is that, <laughs> that is something I will not replicate anytime soon. Daily, <laughs> daily video, well, you know, doing, three minute videos, something, but it's not as taxing. But when some of these went to say an hour or an hour and a half, and I was like, wow, I just, you know, you gotta shoot it and edit it. And yeah, it's like a, yeah. So they're, they're, I'll probably not, <laughs> not do daily videos anytime soon. I don't know what kind of schedule I'm gonna go for going forward, because I'd still like to you know, learn stuff and hopefully try to explain the stuff I've learned, but I need to make some kind of a schedule. But that's pretty much my only negative. You know, if I could space it out, that would be once a week. I think. But yeah, how that. And shorter, yeah, shorter. Like 28 days, maybe not. I don't, I don't know exactly what the max is, but maybe five days, <laughs> three, three to five might be a topper, you know, but it was an experience. I learned a lot from it. So that's what I like. I like that I learned something and that this is the plan for the, the year. I'm going to try to do this for the year. And then next year, if I do an intermediate, I don't know, try to take all my learnings and move it forward. Now, let's see, let's talk about the files. I, the nine files was a good idea. And I made the, the boot camp file that had all the Photoshop stuff in it. But I didn't really need, well, I have, you know, places where I can store the head, the hands, anatomy, rev, mannequin, statues. I didn't really put anything in example. Well, I couldn't put it wrong, I did. But not as so much freestyle. But it's not too much. Miscellaneous, Final Fantasy, but not too much. So yeah, most of it's just like reference files. And then one for what you're gonna do. So, and I like having a schedule. Having a schedule was, was good. I'm surprised that I was <laughs> smart enough, smart enough to realize that having a schedule, you know, is, is a good idea. Now, let's see, this all started, well, first I'm gonna have some reference in the description uh, but I got some of, let's show it first. All right, so I made 
artist boot camp, right? And I have places that I would go to for figure drawing, stuff like that, photo reference, but it's the internet. You can, I'll have like three of these, the figure drawing ones in the description. And a person I just happened to find was Brad, Brad Wyatt. And he does the Artistic Avenger program. I found this guy on YouTube. I don't have his uh, at, at the Artistic Adventure in the description, but he had a great six drawing reference websites for to master figure drawing. And I thought that that's a good idea. Right. So if you can check out his stuff, yeah, good dude. Thanks for that uh, you know, tip of the hat to this guy for that reference. Because I, I had most of them, but some of them, he has some new stuff. So check this one out. Six strong reference websites for a master figure, to master figure. That's a good one. And this all started because of Anime Charlie. Anime Charlie, I was watching one of his videos just randomly. I had never heard of it before. And then something in one of his videos sparked this whole uh, boot camp for beginners. I can't even remember what it was that he said. But I was like, it, you know, I had that spark of inspiration. And I was like, oh crap, I have to do this. And I was like, oh, 28 days though. <laughs> Cause you know, I, my mind, I kind of have a, if I go in, I kind of go in too, too hard maybe. But yeah, I'll also have his channel in the, at Anime Charlie in the description. But yeah, tip of the hat to those two guys. Give them a like and subscription or whatever. You feel so inclined, but good dudes. Don't know them at all, but <laughs> I like when some, you know, somebody gives you a, a spark of inspiration. It's like, ah, oh, yes. So yes. Was there anything else I wanted to say? I think that's all. I think that's all. But yeah, this is my schedule for the year. I'm gonna carry on off, you know, camera. There'll be no more of this <laughs> on camera. I'll probably make shorter videos, much shorter videos on random stuff that I'm learning or find interesting about art and whatever. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. But yeah, this is my, my pretty much schedule. I'm going to try to keep up. And if I fall off, try to hop back on and keep, you know, keep a string going. It's, it's like working out. If you can't do it for a, a day or two, maybe a week, you try to hop back on and get a new streak. So yeah, that was the Artist Bootcamp for Beginners, my postmortem. And again, congratulations if you went through this. I'd like to give myself a small pat on the back because yeah, <laughs> I can't believe I, I did it. I'm pretty pleased with myself. And now it's to prepare for the next challenger, which is, again, just to keep running. Keep going through it. If you're working out and you think, I wonder how Trey's doing. I'm probably in that same part going, I wonder if somebody else is <laughs> going through all of this. And yeah. So yeah, the next challenger, keep, keep running. Yeah. We're all here to get better. Let's find a routine that works for you and keep running. So yeah. And now I'm going to, I'm a bit hairier than I should be, and a bit stinkier, and I'm um, tired as heck. So I'm gonna gonna go clean up, and you don't want to hear all that. Uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Later. <laughs>